Hi mga lods Welcome to my vlog Nakatakaroon sa Ecotec Sa Lahog Ako isya sa inyo mga lods Ang opening ceremony uh, The Pastoral of Fountain of Life Christian Ministry Ano lods? In Revelation chapter 2, uh, chapter 21, verse 6, And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain, the water of life, pray. In Psalms chapter 90, verse 2, he says, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast poured the earth, and the world ebbed from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art this way. Almost gracious Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves to come into your holy presence. We are so grateful and thankful for this blessed day that you have given us. Lord, as we start the opening ceremony of the comprehensive theological education, let your Holy Spirit with us. Yours is the mighty power and glory and victory and majesty. Everything in the heavens and earth is yours, O Lord, and this is your kingdom. We adore you as being in control of everything. Riches and honor comes from you alone, and you are the ruler of all mankind. Your hand controls power and might. And it is at your discretion that men are made great and given strength. O oh, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pastor Boy, may you be seated. May the truths within these scriptures bring you peace, strength, and a renewed sense of purpose. I now invite you to join us in singing a song that magnifies the greatness of our God. With hearts full of gratitude and awe, we raise our voices to proclaim, Blessed be the Lord God Almighty.
the intentions of our hearts rise in the heavens and be received with grace. May I request everybody now to please rise as we pay homage to our country and sing the Philippine national anthem, Lupa Mineo. Let's sense of patriotism as we celebrate our heritage and the strength of our nation.
Antivisarius and Enoson Hermes. Critical Hermes Commander GTF, thus NCR prior to this, he had been designated to the following positions. Deputy Commander, Central Command Armed Forces of the Philippines, Commander JPG Salon, GTF, Zamba Zolta, Brigade Commander of 501st Infantry Brigade, Pip ID and, and of 606 uh, uh, Infantry Brigade, 6 ID, Federal Army, Deputy Commander 103rd Infantry Brigade, 1st ID, Federal Army, Battalion Commander, 35th ID, then 1 ID, Federal Army, Company Commander, 4th SRC and Plateau Leader, Charlie Company, 2nd SRP, FSRR, Federal Army, he likewise, he likewise served as Company Commander. Bravo Company, as Battalion of Christians and Training Staff Officer, 69 ID, 7 ID, Federal Army, and as Federal Military Academy Chief of Staff for Christians, MA3. He performed special duties as Instructor, Travel, Federal Army Chief Reopen Press, G6, Federal Army Chief Security Officer, Joshua Pelkins, and Chief WMFO, PCTC, and Commander, Task Force of Security, Facilities, Enforcement of Energy Laws and System, Department of Energy. He finished numerous foreign and local military career and specialization courses and a holder of two master of degrees, Master of Business Administration and Master in Public Administration. He is also a career service executive eligible, eligible officer. He was a town council in San Francisco Cebu for one term from 2019 to 2022. Currently, he is now the Vice President for Corporate Security, Vexal Development Corporation, and sometimes spend his weekend time in farming, fishing, and managing his shooting range business in Camus Island, Cebu. And now the Chairman of the Chinese Foundation for Technical Training and Assessment Center advocating continuous on power, livelihood, and environmental development through tree growing and other small businesses. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome General Alan Arujado. Thank you, Pastor Boy. So, I would like to extend my appreciation for inviting me here. As I am an army retired army officer, I should not be here. Literally, uh, you can speak, but nevertheless, we are rather surprised and also a believer in God. So, I am very thankful that this is my long career in the military service facing the enemies of the state. And sometimes uh, many times uh, facing those scores in the service. At any rate, I would like to start my message to acknowledge uh, my references to brothers, which is uh, Brother C. Leo, and of course, uh, J.P. John Paul Casantos for giving their ideas and help to give you days in this event. Let me start. Why pastoral ministry is important? Pastoring can be in a variety of ways. And this foundation, it involves caring for God's people and walking alongside with them in their Christian foundation. As a pastor, you must lead and guide the people along the way. You have to tell the people of God about the truth and bring them to life. This means you have to lead the people to Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Life is like a battlefield. You have to be ready to fire and engage the enemies. And we will know who is our enemies, who are our enemies. The abbreviation of LBDS, L stands for Lucifer, D for demon and D another D is for judgment and of course the S is the Satan. So as a pastor, priest, these are our enemies to offer.
as our weapon and God as our shield. We have to win this battle and conquer our enemies, just like conquering and overcoming all the temptations and avoiding the works of evil. Remember that as you equip yourselves with all the learnings and teachings that are going to take, it is not just for ourselves. More importantly, it is for the people of God that you have, you will be leading someday. When in doubt, remember that Jesus said, Do not be afraid. The phrase is mentioned 365 times in the Bible. Let this be our reminder that every day God is telling us that we should not be afraid. Every journey begins in a single step. This is it. This is just one of the middle steps that are going to make for a better glory of God. And always remember, whatever He is, He guides. Our lives here on earth is like a passing shadow. As short members, with the guidance of the pastors, we must be concerned about these same pastoral works. Life can be full of unexpected things, and they're happy or sad. But no matter what happens, just keep a kind heart, a wise mind, and a strong faith in God. When the days are calm and stormy, He knows what's best for us. Let me remind you also in the passage in the Bible that after a long day of work, Jesus and His disciples were at sea and they came up with a storm. And it treated us to capsize them. The disciples have to wake up Jesus, telling him that, are you going to drown and you're just sleeping? So we know the story, but the God himself came to us. That's why the Sabbath, they got the days of rest, but we people are changing it to Sundays, but it should be Sabbath, Sabbath. So, Consider the following, if ever you are the pastor right now, the pastors, about 6% of the people are uh, suffer heart attack more than other people in our job. Three out of five uh, pastors suffer obesity, not the 60%. 11% of the pastoral suffered mentally distressed. So, no matter how important is our job, as long as it's in line with God, we have to take a risk. So that we are equipped, we can be this and ready for the next battle. So, the challenges we face today prepare us tomorrow. May God bless you all. Pastors, students, and church members. May the Lord Jesus put his hand on our eyes also. For then we shall begin to look not what is seen, but what is not seen. May he open our eyes that we are concerned not with present, but with what is yet to come. May he unseal the heart's patience that we may gaze in the dark and spirit to the same Lord Jesus Christ. Most glory and power will endure throughout the ending succession of ages. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 My simple but heartfelt, heartfelt blessings to all the students, pastors, and church members. May your basic course for pastoral ministry be filled with positive energy, plenty of steps taken towards our goals and dreams. May you cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to you. And we will give thanks to the ministry. Thank you and stay best and safe, all of you. Good afternoon. Thank you, General Arnold, for this inspirational message. Snappy salute, General um, General Arnoldo, for that. No? He is a living testament to the resilience of the human spirit, of all the things that we have encountered good times, through his own personal journey perhaps and experiences, he discovered 
13 years. That's from 1994 to 2007. He was a former executive secretary to the mayor of Tiburan, Mayor Aljun Diamante, from 2011 to 2012. He, was, he is also the Area Security Supervisor of Sarasaleho Security Agency Incorporated and now the founder of the Pastor of Fountain of Life Christian Ministry Incorporated. He is the current president of the Comprehensive Technological Education, a basic course for pastoral ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, with a resounding round of applause, let us welcome Pastor Antonio Boy Pagana. Thank you, our Master of Ceremony, Ophelia Mahadi Ramos. She is the Doctor of Philosophy and Mathematics. He is one of the faculty members of the University of the Netherlands, UP Lahog Sinusi. Our guest speaker, our guest owner and speaker this afternoon, General Alan Arohado. He is the Vice President of Corporate Security and the Big South Corporation. And of course, our Bishop and Doc, the Church of Jesus Christ International. And of course, Anthony, uh, Sir Anthony, one of the board directors of CTV. He is one of the officers of Metro Ayala. And of course, Manuel Marijo. The proprietor, manager, the owner, and the owner of LIP uh, Services or a different type of working company. And of course, the staff of General Arawado, Mark Rodriguez, one of our board director of City. And of course, Alain Pepito is the chief security officer of Metro Pacific Mall. So let's give him a round of applause. And of course, Vilar Siridonio, one of our students in the city, he's the food guard of Metro Ayala. And of course, Pastor Enes, then Pastor Bandeco, uh, so, guests, friends, and all of you who are present this afternoon, Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The pastor of Fountain of Life Christian Ministry Incorporated, a newly registered church organization and approved by Securities and Exchange Commission last February 27, 2023. My desire is to open a comprehensive the Unitical Education, a basic course for pastoral ministry. It is part of my plans and programs and tricks. My objectives or our objectives are to motivate, inspire, and to develop a deeper, closer relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to enhance the knowledge of pastors church members pertaining to the theological aspects. Our mission is to share the good news of salvation by faith in Jesus Christ. Our mission is to become a foundation of gospel ch preaching churches and the families. The rationality and purpose of this event it centers on a faith formation that aims at developing the students a new understanding of an attitude towards the new people of God, where people from all works of life shall have equal share in building this new community. It envisions the partnerships and inclusion of all in shaping the society and culture, and to inspire and encourage the students the holistic proclamation of the gospel calls for values formation. Along with faith formation, the human and Filipino values, which are encountered in the students' reactions, 
attitudes and behavior towards a given situation serve as a springboard to the proclamation of Christian messages. A dialogue between values and a Christian message leads to clarification, deepening, and purification, thereby paving the way towards greater humanity. By virtue of the power vested in me, as the founder and the pastor of the Pastor of Fountain Life Christian Ministry Incorporated, and as the president of the Comprehensive Theological Education, I hereby declare the 21 students of the Comprehensive Theological Education. Let's give them a round of applause. Class is starting this coming Sunday at the Union Hall of the University of the Philippines. Classes is every Sunday. So, despite of all circumstances, despite of all of the bitter conditions that we are experiencing after, we are so grateful and thankful to God because God has given us the opportunity that this comprehensive critical education open ceremony, ceremony will become successful. It is a glory to God. So once again, thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless us all. Thank you so much, Pastor. I believe with everyone, successful talaga yung event. Kaya nang si Pastor eh, sinabi pa yung ano mo, Aljay ko pala yung pangalan. Naiiba yung edad ko po eh, kaya pa-pronounce ko siya na ito, Aljay ko, yun, di ba? And I am not, not yet, but almost there with my Doctor of Philosophy and Mathematics. Matuha ko pa rin po ako next month, Pastor. But I will be assured of your prayers, amen? Amen! Ayun na! Saan pa yung ibang sila? 
those who stood and those who are seated, I know you know who you are. To the students right here, you represent the future, the hope and the potential within our midst. Your curiosity and even your shyness, your enthusiasm and energy remind us of the importance of continuous learning and growth. No? I believe we are all excited to witness the impact you will have on the world as you embrace your calling and live out your faith. To so our dear friends who did not stood up, no? you represent the pillars and support and companion of our journey. Your presence and friendship make every moment more meaningful and joyous. May I request our esteemed guests, I think they are all here, to please stand to be recognized. Sirs, good afternoon. Our esteemed guests, your presence honors us. Thank you. And we are grateful for the wisdom and insights that you will bring. Your support and encouragement will surely uplift our spirit and inspire us to strive for excellence. Thank you so much, sirs. You may now be seated. Okay. As we continue our gathering, we invite you to join us in a heartfelt song. I am biased with this song. This is my favorite song of the day because this is my favorite Christian song. This song beautifully captures the essence of God's love and its transformative power in our lives. Let us now sing the power of your love.
they have helped to create this meaningful gathering, but not just that, no? They have also demonstrated their commitment to our shared values and aspirations, okay? Can I get an amen for that? Yeah, I have been 
that I have been um, describing you for a lot of words already, no? but hindi ako magsasawa. This individual carries within him a deep sense of faith, reverence, and a heart filled with devotion. Let us welcome again Pastor Boy Tabuano for his prayer of dedication. May request in the Bible stand. Aside from the world of comprehensive people, education officers, and the board of directors. Finish. Heavenly Father, the greater of heaven and earth, the Lord of lords and the King of kings, search us, O God, and know our hearts, and lead us and lead us along the path of righteousness. Teach us, O Lord, to do your will, for this is the highest calling for those who seek in life and desire the highest possible for them. According to your words in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew the strength. They shall bow up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not pay. Father God, I pray to all the officers and the board of directors of comprehensive theological education that you will guide them, that they will be the strong foundation of this theological education. Lord, give them more wisdom, knowledge and understanding to understand your words. Bless them with your abundant blessings financially, materially, and spiritually, so that they might be the channel of blessings to those who are in me. Father God, we glorify your name. We give you honor, we give you praise and thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. As we enter into a moment of dedication and surrender, we invite you to join us in singing a heartfelt song of dedication entitled, I Will Come to Bow Down. This beautiful song reminds us of our humble posture before our Creator as we offer ourselves, our worship, and our lives as a testament of our devotion.
faith to God and His purposes. Amen. 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 Nandito na po tayo sa exciting part. Kanina kasi, we did not stand. So ngayon, i-acknowledge po natin yung students ng CTE or yung Comprehensive Theological Education. This is actually a basic course for the pastoral ministry. And we are all gathered here today the rain, the thunder, the lightning is a blessing. Amen. Amen. And yon. So we are here gathered today for the opening ceremony of this. No? Ito yung head start, eh, job start, kumbaga. So may I request the CTE students to please join us here in the final acknowledgement. Ayan na yung mga titigan nila. Alphabetical order po yung magtawa. Sige, let's have Mr. Randy Abad. Mr. Anthony Aragon. Sir Robert Baan. Sir Levi Levi Cabataya. Sir Renante Carolino. Sir Ruben Lachika o si Sir Taparante ka Sir Karadili ka alone. <laughs> uh, Miss Rose Bell Lapis. Sir, pa rin ko lang mag-isa ngayon. I'm not sure. Anna Pai. Clarobis. Ayun, dalawa na sila. Hi, ma. Mr. Celedonio Millar. Ayan, mga classmates na lang tayo. <laughs> Sir Raymond Padillo. Sir Jason Rama. Miss Judith Rama. Sir, ay hindi ko lang ang sure kung Sir Torma. Ariel Rosario. Kakapanood lang po natin ng Little Mermaid. Hindi ko po ma-miss or ma-sir. Ariel Rosario. Wala po. Sige po. Sir Louis Sabroso. Ano siya? Sir, Sir Clint Sol Saul. Clyde. Ayan na lang po. Sir Solitario Anio. Ay, hindi po pala sa Vertical Sol. Sir, hindi po tayo. Ano ba ang friend? Sir Alex Solon. Miss Angelica Tabada. Ay, ayun. Sorry po, sir. Sir Anthony Tabada. Wala dito. Sir Vicente Tabada. Last but definitely not the least, Sir Edwin Velos. Ayun, hi, sir. Ayan, mga classmates po kayo at ang unang yung pong assignments ay hanapin po yung ibang classmates nyo. Chat lang po. <laughs> These young individuals filled with promise and potential embody the future of our community and the next generation of leaders. Isang malaki round of applause naman. Ayan na. Students, mga teachers, ako ay mag-bless on your journey. Thank you. Ayan po, kilala ninyo na po yung numbers kasi po baka may assignment si Pastor. Sagutan niyo na lang po all together. Thank you so much. No? Alright, ayan. Ayan, can settle. And I believe they need our prayers, no? For them to succeed with whatever endeavors they will be facing as they enter the comprehensive theological education. The basic um, course for pastoral ministry. Assured ba sila ng prayers natin? Okay. I want to know who it is. Wala po tao. Tao po. Assured po ba sila ng prayers natin? Yes. Okay. They are the future leaders and they need our prayers. Yes. Lord. As we join up, as we join our voices and lift our, lift our voices in a song of submission, let us remember now through the song, the profound humility and gratitude that comes with recognizing a greater presence in our life. At this point, let us now be singing the song. 
song of submission entitled, I Will Serve Thee. Sila, 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 sila,
Pagkasunod ni Nino na journeys ilang kinabuhi, araw na Diyos sa pagkabot o pagtabang sa nakong magbaluhatol ni Nino Gipiyan sa mata ko sa kakinabuhi. O Diyos, may aking mga pagtuaw na Nino na Nino silang dihugan, Nino silang parayang linay, dili silang abilidad, dili silang dahon sa mga susunan na mabalang puson, mabalaukol sila, sumunod kayo na ako na Diyos na nagsaad ng uban sa asa sila mabalang. Acknowledging that our lives are not ours alone. Right. Right? 
to our Lord. Let's welcome Pastor Julius Bandito. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At wait ko ang ano, di Pasko. Magkapunta. Kani mo ang Diyos ng ating palaan. Gidaay, ginapasalamatan at ikaw ang tapong sa kapon. May tatangat na kami inikurasa sa mapaskuon ng panglawas. Diyan kami ang Diyos. Huwag na kapasalamat kani mo Pulokatan sa Pound and Life Ministry na ginumala sa aming isoon ng pumuhan Pastor Tabada. Padayo ng ikaw Diyos na manalangin kaniya upayang sa mga pakutes Board of Directors sa Tanah ng Diyos na ini Pulokatan. Niya kami sa takna ng aming tansamantala na tapusun ang mga oras na ini pagpuklama sa Pulokatan na nasugdan ng alam sa pagpalapan o Diyos ay mong kingdom o dominion na hiling dapat sa nabiling mag-adlaw sa aming kinabuhay. Samtang kami na kapapot, padayo na kami ang mga buhay upan sa inyong katawan alam sa pagpadayo o pagpalapan sa inyong kinarin. Upisan pa sa aming pagpamahuli ang tanan sa matagos sa kanawa padulong sa dapat
go forth and multiply. Thank you and have a very good day. So, please, we have more stuff here. So, we have to appreciate the results. So, so you can see we have to enjoy our stuff. Yeah. 